الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم came to save us gotcha. he paid for our sins so me... he paid for our sins with his blood only god can do it mm. only god can do it okay. and if you think that you will be able to go into jana by weighing your good things versus bad things mm -hmm. brothers and sisters you will be for very rude awakening okay. because you'll realize that jesus will look into your eyes and say depart from me I never knew you. And that's the biggest mistake they're making. You never knew what true God really is. And we will pray for you. We'll pray to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and God the Father, in the mighty name of the Holy Spirit, that he opens your eyes, just like one day he will open the eyes of Jews to see exactly what is going on here, and that you will be saved, and you will also see, just like so many other Muslims are seeing today having dreams and visions when Jesus comes to them and tells them follow me and the great burden will be lifted off of me now when you look at the God you only try to submit to him but you don't have any relationship with him when we are, look are, at are, the are, Lord are you, are you he is our mode? father Listen. and we have a relationship with him and he loves us and it's available you. to you brothers and sisters let me, you let can me do ask the you same a, thing let me ask you a quick so this question. is the simplest okay message of God let me ask and you. Jesus let me, who died let me, for me let me ask you a quick question him. listen God bless you all. listen listen we'll preacher mode God come listen two questions <laughs> you see this is what it is right yeah. it's just preacher mode yeah. speak yeah. because I got no answers <laughs> <laughs>
So it's a good question. Uh, I mean, we, I think you're going down to the discussion about abortion and uh, abortion well, I, rights I and things. I didn't even yeah. realize the thing about the clot. Uh, and when you right. said leech, I hear often leech. We believe that there are stages in the womb of the mother, right? And there is a stage that after a certain period of time, the soul is breathed into the, into the fetus, right? From then on, that's a human being. But even before that, we don't believe you can abort without reason, unless there's danger to health or, you know, some kind of a, an actual medical reason. That is the beginning of life, right? So at what stage of development does... So we have stages. There are four stages. The, after the first stage, which is going to be around the first trimester, you're going to have the soul that's breathed into the, into the fetus. And from then on, killing that would be as if it's murder, right? So what, while it's still in the first stage, it's okay? It's not okay, as I said earlier. But it, it's not a human. But it's not a murder, right? Meaning that, for example, if somebody has a... Uh, medical any uh, hardship but it's not it's not like it's not going to be a, a life-threatening emergency but somebody uh, for example knows that if they get pregnant uh, the blood loss and things are going to be huge and they abort in the first trimester it's still wrong islamically but we would not charge them with murder but after the soul is breathed and that fetus has developed features and all of that then if you if you convert like abortion it would be like murder right the same rulings would apply let me give you an example, right? Let's say a woman has just got pregnant, like last week, and somebody hits her with a car, right? Now, are you gonna charge them with manslaughter of one person or two, right? So here, Islamically, until the soul is breathed, it's still one person, right? Until the what? Until the soul is breathed into the fetus, right? So after that, then Islamically, they will be charged with two, right? Meaning, I mean, you can't take it back too far, because otherwise, I mean, if somebody, you know, spills their sperm it doesn't mean that they just killed somebody right or, I don't know, right? but there is a time after which the fetus will be considered a human being right I, i'm just curious uh, uh like what what like specific verse is that it's a hadith you know what a hadith is uh no all right hadith okay the what? Where, like what where in the book is it what book are you talking about the hadith. hadith is not one book Right? Hadith are the sayings, the sayings of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. We have many books like Bukhari, Abu Dawud, Ibn Bajah, Tirmidhi. Some hadith are authentic, some are weak. We check them for verification. So, what is the Injil, right? Injil is a name given to the message that was sent to Isa ibn Maryam. Okay, you know so, Jesus? Yes. Yeah, the original message of Jesus is called the Injil. Okay, so those include the Gospels, right? No, because the Injil is the actual message given to the Prophet Jesus, right? The Gospels were written later, as you know, right? I mean, they're not, they're not the writings of Jesus or even the apostles around him, right? They're attributed to them, right? The Gospels, the ones that were written in the first century? Oh, they were not written in the first I mean, you know, the earliest Greek, you know about the... How many manuscripts of the New Testament do we have from the first Christian century? None. Written in the first century. Well, they were not. <laughs> so what is the earliest manuscripts? Um, they were about 30 years after. So no, yeah. Have you read like Bart Ehrman or any kind of research on this? Actually, he's a New Testament scholar who does believe. Who? Uh, yeah, he's a New Testament scholar. Bart Ehrman? Bart, Bart Ehrman, yes. Okay, yeah. Oh. Um, after, though, uh, the actually the latest ones are attributed to uh, John, like Revelation. And so, so like for example, he, for example, Hebrews, right? The book of Hebrews. Who wrote it? it we're not exactly sure, but it's probably right, so, Paul. It might also so it's anonymous, actually, right? Because we don't know who wrote it. Could also be Paulus. Right. So but we don't actually the, know then, right? The, the other gospels, the uh -huh. actual gospels, we do know who the authors were, and that, for example, Paul writes that. 500 brothers are still living. Paul being Saul originally, right? What? Paul, he was originally named Saul, right? Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. So meaning, but, but Paul also, never physically met Jesus, right? Only in a vision, right? Right, but he also was living at the same time with the apostles, and he was quoting okay. creeds that were... But they're not direct writings of the apostles then. No, the direct and the, writings... And the earliest manuscripts that are... Mark wrote Mark. Okay. Uh, Mark wrote Mark. Yes. Uh, what language did he write it in? I think it was Greek. Um, so Mark yeah. spoke Greek? Or did he speak Hebrew. Aramaic? Or Hebrew? I don't remember exactly which uh. one it was written in. Okay. But they were written during that time. 
So again, you're talking about attribution or talking about manuscripts? Manuscripts. So do you have a book, it's called Forgery in the Name of God? By Bart Norman? No, but I do have okay. other books uh, that sh show track the, basically the chain of custody. Show okay, it so the happened. earliest Greek manuscript, that's the complete Gospels, is how old? About 30. No, it was, yeah. They were written 30 years. Yeah. So just how many manuscripts of the New Testament do we have from the first Christian century? None. From the decades after the books were written, how many do we have? The years afterwards, the decade, none, zero. How many do we have from the early second century? Say, manuscripts that clearly date up to around the year 150. We have one scrap. This is it. This may look big because it's a big screen. This is the actual size. It's the size of a credit card. Yeah, so the old, sorry. Oh, the <laughs> Look this up are, when you go home, okay? No, I know what. I know now right. like, where we're disagreeing. Okay. The oldest existing manuscript. Yeah, the one that we can older. prove. However, right. Four hundred years for the first back. complete manuscripts, right? Well, we can look back to old church fathers who were quoting it before that. Sure, but those find, quotes are written. And find out that it was written earlier on. Okay. So we don't have so, older manuscripts, but we can find out when it was written. Okay. So you are apparently well read in the Bible, right? You guys are from yeah, a church group, I'm assuming? Okay. Oh, you are. Great. Let me ask you a couple of questions then. I have a Bible. So. Are you aware that Bart Ehrman agrees that the Gospels were written early by the Apostles? How many complete manuscripts do we have from the second and third centuries? None. Zero. Well, if we have 5,500 manuscripts, where are they from? When are they from? Well, 94% of our surviving manuscripts come from the ninth century and later. 94% come from the 9th century, which is great if you want to know what the Bible looked like when Christians were reading it in the year 890. But if you want to know how they were reading it in the year 70, you've got a problem because you don't have manuscripts from that period. I, I've actually listened to his lectures. I have a few of his books. Um, I have seen his research on the earliest manuscripts, right? Are you aware that he agrees yeah, to no, no, but 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 he, he did not, right? From his book that I have published, that I have at home, that I can bring for you, he says that none of these can be attributed to actual disciples. These are Greek writings. <laughs> have you read his books? We do not have the originals of the New Testament period. We do not have the originals of the New Testament period. Okay. Well, next week we'll bring his books and take a look at them together then how's that? All right. Let me ask you about the Bible itself then. Who's the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary? I don't remember. I could look in oh, the... Oh, here it is. Do you want to read it? So, Jacob. Jacob's the father of? Joseph. Who's the husband of Mary, right? Okay. Make sense? Sure. Okay. Here in Luke, who's the father of Joseph? Oh, this is two different genealogies. One okay. is tracking the biological okay. line where, where is that from? through Mary, and the other is tracking the legal Where is Mary? It says the son of Heli. Is Mary going to be the son or daughter? So, according to Jewish tradition, uh -huh. when Joseph married Mary, okay. he became a son. So, so, it, okay. so then he was the son of Heli. So that means the word son here means son-in-law. According to Jewish tradition. Okay. So that would mean that the same word here used for Matan is the son-in-law of Levi, the son of... Because you're not going to use the same word differently, right? It's translated as son, but... It it's the same it Greek word, context, though. though. No, no, but the same Greek word is used throughout. So then I guess Adam is the son-in-law of God, because the same word is used all the way through. No, you have to look yeah. at the context. I, I have the Greek of it, right? Do you have a Greek Bible? We do at home. So when you have the same Greek word used throughout, why did you change that? Where does it say this is 
This has to do with him being the adopted son or the son-in-law. See, again, you, you, the, you, the legal line for David? So, so the question here is, how did you get that? Meaning, because here it says, now Jesus began his ministry at the age of 30 years, being the supposed son of Joseph, the son of Heli, the son of Matat, the son of Levi, the son of Michli. They're all using the same word. So are you saying this word here, according to the context, is not referring to sons, but to son-in-laws? According to the context in the one spot, it is Where is that context? Sons. Where did you get that context? That Eli is his, the Eli father is the father of Mary? Of Mary? Yes. Are you sure? Yes. Eli is the father of Mary, biblically. <laughs> That's what the context is saying. So, so Mary's father's name is what? Eli. You're sure about that? So if I can bring you historic documentation that it wasn't, then would you believe it's a clear contradiction? Historic, even the Catholic encyclopedia, for example, you may not be Catholic, but I'm saying here the father of Mary is not Heli, right? Historically. Okay. But you are reading that in, trying to put together a clear contradiction. Yeah, but okay. That's Jewish law in historical context. Okay. That we're using. I, well, if you guys are in San Diego? No, oh. we won't be here next week just okay. because we don't live here. So. Yeah. Isaiah was 42 years old when he became king and he reigned a year, one year in Jerusalem, right? Okay. How old was he? Did you? How old was he? Sorry. Okay. Isaiah was? 42. When he became king and he ruled one year. His mother' name is Athaliah, the granddaughter of Umri, right? Okay. Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king, and he ruled one year in Jerusalem, and his mother was Athaliah, the granddaughter of Umri. So was he 22 or 42? I'm not familiar with that one. So you guys don't have Bible studies and things? You don't study the Bible? Or? No, we do. Okay, so you didn't come across this verse before? Okay. But you want to take a? Get, get to, to get back to what I was talking about earlier, do you okay. believe that Jesus was a person? Was a uh, yes. Okay. Yes. And so the angel, but, but, but can, can we the, can we finish the, the can we finish the Bible stuff first or? I mean, I just want to understand. Do, do you believe that these are contradictions here or no? I'm not familiar with them, but. The but do you see a contradiction between 22 years old and 42 years old? No, because you don't see a contradiction between 22 and so somebody can no, be 22 and 42. And rule one year. It could have been a different person. I do not familiar. So this is this this is this is this is where I'm glad that the mother and grandfather. How many Isaiahs ruled one year in Jerusalem that had a mother named Athaliah that was the grand that was the daughter of Umri, the king of. There's only one. So just. You can talk to me. You don't have to whisper to us. Like. But, but you know <laughs> More than one. With the name There's I, more than one. Do you know? Do you know that there was only one? Yes. Only one? Like yes, sure. So, 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 look. No, can I see a historical document? <laughs> okay, I'll tell you what. Look, you know and I know that you're just trying to run from this, right? Because, look, I know that he, he is Ahaziah. So even when I'm showing you a clear contradiction numerically, you're just saying there's none. That, that's just blind faith, right? Right here, there is there are no contradictions in the Quran, and we'll get to those. Oh, we got you. Don't don't think you're the first one that came to us with this, but we'll get to that, okay? Isaiah, so let, let me let me just finish, right? But this is I, I get to ask but, you but, questions. Sure, but let me finish with this, and then we, when I speak, you listen. When you speak, I listen. How's that? But this, I you actually says, you can, we can ask okay. you. Sure, but when I speak. You listen, when you speak, I listen. That's how respectful conversations well, we go on. Been, but Excellent. We, we have we so had questions we wanted to Excellent, know. we'll get to your questions. Let me finish, if you don't mind. So here you have Isaiah, who is 22 years old. You have his mother's name, Athaliah, who is the granddaughter of Umri. You really believe there are two Isaiahs who had the same mother. Okay, so that means the same. It's not the same, but it's not two. I have a question for you. Go ahead. No, no, you're going to skip over this, right? Go ahead. So I, I like to point out, she was actually trying to ask you questions. I understand. No, 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 I'm sorry. You asked the question. I explained your question. Sure. It's a conversation, right? So I'm going to ask. Sure, I am. I listened to your. Go ahead. Ask her question. So according to. The Quran, there mm -hmm. is a previous book of Revelation, right? Yes. And so do you believe that the angel and the Psalms 
mm -hmm. are part of that. Okay. According, According to Muslim. Would you like me to answer? Yeah, I just clarified okay. the question. Thank you. So we believe that the Injil was revealed to Jesus, peace and blessings be upon him. We believe Zabur was revealed to David, peace and blessings be upon him. We believe the Torah was revealed to Moses, peace and blessings be upon him. But we also believe that later, as the Quran says, people wrote with their own hands and attributed it to God. So that what we have today is not the Injil. Okay, sure. Go ahead. Okay. So, did you get my answer? Yes. So okay, good. Are you aware that the Quran claims consistency with those books of the Bible? Okay, so let me explain that to you, right? The Quran in those verses says that those books that were revealed judge about them with the Quran. Meaning that which was changed, how would you know you judge with the Quran? Meaning true that those are the word of God though. So that which was revealed to Jesus was the word of God. But that so which men can I finish? <laughs> this is this. Let me finish my answer. You're, right. Okay, so it was very simple answer. So I thought. I know, but but I wasn't done, right? So let oh, me finish. Sorry. No problem. So okay. when the Quran talks about that which was revealed to Jesus, it is not this, right? Because much of this is from unknown authors that wrote later, as we have discussed. Does You're talking ahead. So Hebrews, who wrote Hebrews? Isn't it true that the, the book Quran, of Hebrews we have huh? uh, good evidence for either Paul? Hold on. Oh. This is your study Bible, I have right? So have you heard of the Macau study is Bible? It true that the Quran can, says can I answer that him? He, he, he said something. Can I? Let me answer him and I'll get to you, Actually, okay? I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't interrupt here. So, isn't it true that the Quran says that God's word cannot be changed? The words of Allah cannot be changed, but somebody can write so, something. Can, can I finish? Somebody could write something. No, no, look, look, you are interrupting. Please let me let me finish my sentences and then you can speak. Let me finish speaking. The Quran says the words of Allah cannot be changed, but the Quran also says people can write and falsely attribute to God. So that which was revealed to Jesus was correct, but that which people wrote, anonymous authors, and attributed it to God, we don't believe the words of God. Are you clear now? Okay. So are okay. you that, that familiar with that we can find out what the original writings were that were directly? Sure. So, so, you do know, so you do agree then that we do know what the original words of God were of Jesus. with the song? We do not. We, let, me, let me explain this. What you have are accounts written later by authors, many of them being unknown, many of their authorship being disputed. I have a study Bible. You're, you're nodding your head, but I have it in front of you, right? So Here, can I? Sure. Let me. Sure. Even even when we talk about Mark, we say that here he says he neither heard the Lord nor accompanied him. Are you this is in your study that? Bible. Are you familiar? Are you familiar with this? Yes, I'm okay. asking you. So Mark here, according to his Christian study Bible, never no, met Jesus. Author's footnote, right? MacArthur study Bible, yeah. Yes, and just to clarify, study? Okay. Mark was mm -hmm. with the group of apostles, so he did know the teaching. Okay. But also to get to John, but again, who was a disciple, he, never, he did know okay. Jesus. Do you agree Even, with what he wrote was? Sure, I do not, right? Let me explain why. Because if you look at the earliest manuscripts, like the Sinaiticus, this is from the fourth you century. Know what Jesus wrote? We do not. Original. Jesus never wrote any of these. So how these do you are know accounts. What do you know what hold on, hold on. Do you know what he originally said? We what do not. We do not, because these accounts that are in the New Testament today, the earliest manuscript, the Codex Sinaiticus, is from the fourth century. Right? Go look it up when you get home. This is. These are facts. We have no writings. It was, it was in Greek. It was not in Aramaic. It was in Koine Greek. The earliest manuscripts are in Koine Greek. None of them being in the original language of Jesus. Go ahead. Complete man, even even the earliest even the earliest manuscript that you have the size of a credit card that only has a verse and a half, even that is 40 to 70 years after the time of Jesus. Nothing that can be caught. Go look it up at home. Research this. You have not. When is Codex Sinaiticus from then? many thousands of years later. Right. So that means we cannot say this is definitely the what was revealed to Jesus, right? Right. But who made those copies? Anonymous authors. We don't know. We cannot rely on something that was written in a language. So let me 
Let me ask you, let me ask you a question. What language did Jesus speak to his followers in? My Aramaic and Greek. Jesus did not speak to his people in Greek. Where did you get that from? The people of, of Israel at the time put this area. Common Greek. Kone Greek, which is called Common Greek, was not the language spoken there. The language that was spoken, according to Bart Ehrman and anybody else that you can look from biblical skull, was Aramaic. Aramaic was the language. Atheist, right? I do believe he's an atheist. I'm not depending on him and his and belief set, but the research. Okay, are, let me. He does not. We do not have the originals of the New Testament, period. Oh, no. Have you watched his videos? <laughs> he has said you cannot. He has written books saying that these are not. I have those books. If you like. Can I see a couple? Sure. Do you want to come by my house or do you want to come back? Or when you want. You want to look up Forge in the Name of God? You can get it yourself. Have you read it? I have not read that particular book. I okay, well, what, what well book of Bart Ehrman have you read? Uh, I am not very familiar with the source myself, but mm -hmm. the rest of my family is. Okay. So I was just asking if you actually had a copy of it. I do have it, yeah. Sure. Right now? Well, I don't have it. I don't bring my whole library with me, but if you like. Hold, hold. Okay, can I? Calm down, guy. Right? You want to go to my house and take a look at the book? Um, actually, we have, we have some other stuff to do today. So how would you expect me to bring the book to you from well, just thin air? That's the only just source that you have it's not the only the source. Day. I showed you from well, no, MacArthur's that's, that's study only, Bible as well. That's the only source that you actually okay. were bringing up supporting I'll tell you what. Guide, let's so let's you look it up right now. right now, right? Sure. But you quoted John MacArthur. Sure. You didn't quote the actual Bible. Sure, sure, but uh, the actual Bible doesn't say when the manuscripts were written down or who were the authors, right? But you're quoting one man. A Christian, yeah. apologist, who's an who's author, he's, right? Right. Is he, is MacArthur not a Christian? I'm not a huge John MacArthur fan. <laughs> okay, tell me why, that's interesting. So, is it your position that... Or, well, actually, just are you aware that at the beginning of many Gospels, mm -hmm. or and many of the letters that Paul wrote, it actually says who the author is at the beginning of that? Which book are we talking about? Show me. Uh, if you just look at many of Paul's books. Yeah. Here's the Bible. Awesome. Give me one second. And did you find the quote from, I'm sorry, I'm horrible with names, uh, the man you were just mentioning? Bart Herman? Yes. Uh, I don't know. I'm not looking up a quote. There's a whole book he wrote on the subject. Well, if you like, like I said, sure. If you'd like me to go with me to get the book, <laughs> I don't. I don't walk around with my whole library. You know, I have like a huge library at home, right? No, I just thought you were looking but, for the quote. I'm sorry. No, I was actually looking for the authorship of the Bible as has been discussed on the internet. But you can look it up as well. Now, if we look. The majority of even secular or atheist sources agree that the Gospels were dated to the first century, were written by disciples and other eyewitnesses. Where did you get that from? Today, um, a lot of sources. Like? Um, there are even Bart Ehrman quotes that I've that So the earliest writings that you have are from 70 AD, which is four decades after Jesus. History Channel research, right? Are you aware that like, the earliest yeah. writings of Plato or Homer that aren't date to around Are 2,000 years afterwards? Sure, I don't, I don't depend on Plato and Homer for my salvation. Are you aware the Quran was written down in the lifetime of the Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, and memorized during his lifetime? Actually, it was orally transmitted. It was not. So it was, it was not. Like Actually, bones. it was not. Zayd ibn Harith, when he compiled the Quran in the first year after the death of the Prophet one of the sources was two witnesses from written accounts. Did you know that? Actually, Apparently not. No, I <laughs> have you read what, what have you read in the Quranic sciences? What? What have you read in the Quranic sciences? By Christians. Um, he is, he is, he was a Muslim. Who? Alan Schleman. Who's that? What are his Islamic credentials? I'm not familiar with Islam. Yeah. So you, you're talking to a, a so Christian who told you about it. Right, okay. So Islamic scholarship is not dependent on apostates, right? Islamic scholarship has scholars. We have evidences. Do you know the book Al-Itqan? What? Al-Itqan, Fi Ulum Al-Qur'an, the standard book studied for Quranic sciences. No, do you know Mus'haf Uthman? Kind of we do not. 
We do not. You assumed wrong. Isn't the Quran the ultimate authority, though? Of course it is. But when we write about manuscripts and compilation, we don't just depend on the Quran. We look at historic documentation. So is the Quran enough for you? Of course it's enough for us. But so when we study, when we study manuscripts, we don't look at the Quran to know how you carbon date a manuscript, right? Oh, so are you yeah. looking at carbon dating? Sure, that's one of the ways we look at it. We have carbon dated manuscripts to the lifetime of the Prophet ﷺ. Have you heard of the Birmingham Quran? The Birmingham Quran? Yeah. So. Apparently you haven't done much research in it then. When you go back, look up the I Birmingham Quran. The, what the Quran says and not other... Right, but texts. when we were discussing the preservation of text, right? So when you talk about the earliest biblical manuscripts, even the size of a credit card being 70 AD, meaning 40 years after Jesus, but the first complete ones being in the fourth century, then that's telling you that this is not the words that were written down and preserved in the lifetime of Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him. We love Jesus, right? But the Quran, see again, you're cutting me off. I'm, I'm like in the middle of a sentence. You cut me off. <laughs> I was not, I was in the middle. I was saying in the, wow, this is, man, I thought you guys would be taught better manners than this in church, but okay, go ahead. I'll let you interrupt me. Go ahead. If you want to have conversations with people, it would be good to take the sign away uh -huh. that says ask me questions sure. and not cough cut off uh, our questions as well. Okay. So you can't you can't hold us to one standard that you're not willing to follow and I don't believe that we were rude at all. Um, when you're speaking, I listened and when I'm speaking, you're walking away. 